Uh, this is uh, one of uh, the responses that we've been doing in this period, in this uh, period of March, April, May, uh, specifically in the Elgon region, where we have already supported five districts that have been still affected by similar events associated with uh, heavy rain. What we see is that most of these uh, communities are actually not fit for human settlement because uh, of uh, the, the nature of the soil and also the topography. These are low-lying kind of districts. You find a lot of water is draining here in most of these districts, which is uh, causing these different impacts, especially in uh, the prominent rainy seasons that we have. So our assessment that we did as volunteers, uh, we thought that like more than 120 gardens have been destroyed. Some people have decided to go and rent the houses in the centers and others have gone to nearby schools for refuge and shelter. There are places where vehicles cannot pass because as you see I try to move, there are places that we cannot cross like Tajar Primary School. We couldn't cross there because of water, water has cut the road so there is no access. The situation is not okay because most of the houses have been destroyed. The schools have been destroyed. And right now, people from this subcount of Ukamutu are to look for where they shift to get what? To get where they can transfer the families. We're happy with the Red Cross that they, they has brought taplins. Now those taplins can be used to dry the little cassava that is uh, remaining in the gardens to help the families. Otherwise the food they bring cannot really be enough for everybody. My toilet was blown down. My bathing room outside was blown down. And I'm very happy to see that you have come to assist me.